Okay. This is real life, right? And I just had to cut my um little shopping trip short. And now I'm on my way to the school to go pick my kids up because I just got like a really, really sad phone call from the school. Good morning, Glam Squad. It is Jamie and welcome back to my channel. Um, Today I have the house to myself. Um, I took the day off work from my nine to five. The husband's at work, the kids are at school and it's just me. I have a few errands to run. I need to go get the kids some stocking stuffer. So I'm gonna go to Dollar Tree and then I'm gonna go over to Walmart. There's a few like Christmas things that I always have that I need to go pick up. Um, so we're gonna go do that and i need to get a couple of last minute gifts i don't have anything for my mom and my stepdad and we're gonna go to their house on well spend the night at their house the weekend before christmas so um i just have a few errands to go run and then um right now i'm getting ready to take the dog for a walk so um after that then we'll head out to the store so to do for us so pay attention to that so um my mom complains about the same thing she always gets like me and my husband and our kids and her husband stuff for our stockings at her house but then like nobody ever buys her anything for her stocking so i'm gonna get her some stuff for her stocking this year well i actually have done it a couple of years but um we didn't go over there last year because of COVID. So I had actually kind of forgot. So um, I'm glad that I just mentioned that. So for the people that don't know me personally, y'all probably trying to figure out why I have on a Minnesota shirt, but I live in Texas, but that's because I'm from Minnesota. 
we've only been in Texas for like the last five years. I actually am originally from Illinois and then I moved to Minnesota when I was like six. So I grew up in Minnesota and I still have family there. We used to go back at least once a year, but since COVID we haven't been back. So um, gotta figure that out because everybody keep asking me when I'm coming home. But anyway, that's why I have on this Minnesota to see it land of 10,000 lakes shirt but I'm in this Texas heat I got me melting out here with this jacket on okay I'm here and I masked up because we got to be COVID friendly I'm just curious like how many people still write lists when y'all go to the store I know everybody puts stuff in their phone but I'm a person where I have to like physically touch stuff I need to I need to feel it in my hand I don't know. I had somebody. Why do you want to park right here while I'm trying to get up? I had somebody laugh at me in the store one time because they saw my list. They was like, you still write lists? I'm like, uh, you don't? I always forget stuff. Anyway, okay. Dollar Tree did have some cute stuff, but they didn't have as much stuff as they normally have. I think I waited too late. I normally go get their um, stocking stuffers as soon as Dollar Tree starts putting out their Christmas stuff. And this year I waited because they usually start putting it out like basically as soon as they take away their um, Halloween stuff. Well, mm, yeah, they do. Cause sometimes they'll put out some thanksgiving stuff but not very much they mostly just do like halloween and um halloween and christmas but jesus why is this so packed at walmart it's freaking oh it's noon i think it, a lot of people might be here on their lunch break or something but still it's a freaking monday and it's still nowhere to park this is crazy Walmart stay packed. It don't matter what time of day it is or night. You can come to Walmart at 3 o'clock in the morning and the parking lot still gonna be full. Like it's the club. This is ridiculous. It really ain't nowhere to park. Okay. I'm just gonna take the first spot available so I can get in and get out because I still got stuff to do. I'm debating on whether or not I'm going to record in Walmart just because there's so many people in here and I hate recording in front of people. Mm. <sighs> okay. This is real life, right? And I just had to cut my um, little shopping trip short. And now I'm on my way to the school to go pick my kids up because I just got like a really, really sad phone call from the school. They just called and told me that my daughter's teacher, her math teacher from last year, got into a really bad car accident and died. I don't know how to talk to my daughter about this. Um she's never really dealt with death before um i mean not since she's been old enough to really understand it um i do have a sister that passed away and i had a niece that passed away um but they 
this happened so my niece passed away when my daughter was about one and a half years old and then my sister passed away when she was about um she was it was right before she turned three so i don't know how to talk to my nine-year-old about death but i i do know that i didn't want the school to have this conversation with her um so they called me and they said that they were going to tell the kids at two o'clock that um she died and it's currently 12 53 so i just said i just go up to the school and go pick her up because i want to have this conversation with her myself um i don't know i don't know what to say y'all i don't know what to tell her like i'm upset i mean the lady was so nice she was so young um i don't know i don't know like I mean, how do you talk to your nine-year-old about death and explain to her that, like, one of her favorite teachers is not coming back? And this is not just like, oh, this was her teacher from last year. She might not remember her that well. No, this was a teacher that still was teaching at the school this year. And her class was not that far away from where... Um, my daughter's classroom was so she would see her in the hallway on a regular basis she still would see her at school so i don't know y'all i don't this is real life i know that this like probably took this fun christmas themed video that i was making and it um put a real dark spin on it real quick but this is the thing life is not promised nothing is certain and nothing lasts forever and death could come in any minute for anybody just y'all just thank god for your life that's all i'm saying and now i'm sitting here trying to figure out what i'm gonna tell my child oh lord say a prayer for me y'all because this is not going to be easy. When the school first called me, like, anytime the name of my kid's school pops up on my phone, I always, like, instantly get nervous because I'm scared that, like, something happened to one of my kids and they about to tell me, like, oh, you know, when your kids got hurt or they're sick or something like that, you know. So I was already instantly nervous. And then the lady, she's like, yeah, we are just calling to tell you that, um, unfortunate news and i'm just like okay get to the point like you talking about my kids here and she's like yeah unfortunately um um your daughter's third grade teacher um math teacher got into like a really bad car accident and passed away now i can't even remember when she said the car accident happened because like as soon as she said she got into a car accident and passed away like that's all I heard like I don't remember if she said it was yesterday or today so I gotta find out when I get up here to the school like exactly when it was so that I can properly explain this to her because I know she's gonna have questions and I have to be able to answer as much as I can but um yeah and I'm in the middle of Walmart having this conversation and the whole time I'm like trying not to cry myself because I'm I don't know we were already dealing with the death in the family a sudden unexpected death in the family but i'm not really gonna get into that because um i don't know how much about that my husband wants me to talk about because it was um a death in his family so i won't really get into that but this that death had just happened um not even a full week ago it was just like it was, it was on the first. So we were already dealing with that. Um, and then this happened. And it's just, man, when I tell y'all, like, death can come out of nowhere. Like, it's really messed up. And this teacher was so young. Like, I don't I don't know how, how old she was. But, like, I don't even think she had kids yet. Like, she was so young and she was so sweet. She was so nice. 
my daughter loved her. She really loves her. Like, she talked about her a lot. Even this year, she would still talk about her a lot. I'm just trying to figure out, like, what I'm going to say to her. How I'm going to break the news to her. I know for sure I'm not going to tell her in the car. Um, I want her to kind of... I want it to just be me and her. Like, I don't want Fatty around because... Fatty can be distracting and during a time like this like I want her to be able to just like feel her emotions so um I don't want Fatty well Fatty's gonna have to be there like in the house of course but like I'm just gonna put her pull her in like another room for a little bit like get him distracted into something like maybe um I don't know pull up YouTube or something and have him watching a video or something while I talk to her parking lot is packed everyone is picking their kids up early so i'll see you guys after i talk to her okay so we're back at home and i had the conversation with nani and i explained to her that her teacher um got into a bad car accident and passed away and she actually is okay um as you can see i think she's outside screaming right now but anyway she was initially like shocked and then kind of in disbelief and then she was just kind of sad and she was sad for a while so i just kind of explained to her that you know if she had any questions i'll answer what i can and if she wanted to talk about it she could talk to me and i asked her if there was anything that she wanted to talk about she said no she just felt sad so i asked her if she was just still kind of trying to process what happened and she said yeah so to help her to kind of process um like what she was feeling because she's not really much of a talker I told her that it might be a good idea to write her teacher a letter so um what she did was she wrote her a letter and she you know explained to her teacher how she felt and told her teacher what she meant to her and um I asked her if she wanted me to read it or if she wanted to keep it private and she said that she didn't know so I told her well you know just keep it private for right now and then if you decide later that you want me to read it then you can let me know and then I'll read it later and she said okay so she kept it in her notebook for right now and since then she seems like she's kind of back to herself so um since she's kind of back happy and playing which thank god for that because that's what i was worried about um then i'm going to continue on with my day as originally planned until i sense that she needs anything else um the the thing that i was most worried about is that christmas is right around the corner and um for kids, I just I just didn't want for her, I don't know, like her Christmas spirit or whatever you want to call it. I didn't want that to be broken. I didn't want that to be messed up. I didn't want her um, Christmas time to be tainted with this bad news. So the fact that she was able to hear that news, process it, and recover from it, then um, and still be happy then I'm okay with that I'm, I'm good with that and I know that like grief is a journey I've like I said I've dealt with it a few times so I know that she might you know seem okay right now in this moment because it's still really fresh and then tomorrow when she goes back to school and then sees the reactions from her friends and from the other teachers and they're talking about it in school and stuff like that then her feelings might change so tomorrow we might be dealing with a different story but as of right now She's outside playing with her brother and their dog, and I'm good with that. And I'm just going to move on for now. So, with that being said, while they're outside, I'm going to try to sneak and get these gifts wrapped like I originally intended on doing. Um, since my shopping trip got cut short, I still didn't get to get a few things that were on my list, but that's okay. I can figure that out later. I'm not worried about it. So, let me get these gifts going, and then, um, I don't know, probably just... 
go from there. I had to get up out of them big old Jodeci boots and them uh, jeans that I had on. So, um, I'm about to bring the kids in and send them upstairs to their rooms and tell them not to come down so that I can get their stuff together for their stockings. I need to go in the garage and dig out some stockings because I didn't buy stockings today. That was one of the things on my list that I get, didn't get. So, I don't have anything to actually put their stocking stuffers in as of right now. I don't want them to come in hold on okay so let's go over a couple of the things that i got from dollar tree as you can see my table is full but um so the kids have grandparents that still live in illinois and we never really send them anything so i thought it would be cute for them to like make them christmas ornaments and then send them down there to them and then like i know the grandma down there would like put them on the tree and show everybody and stuff and then i got them oh i got them these like little rudolph crafts i thought these were cute too so we'll do one for like my mom and then we'll do one for like the husband's mom and then i got them two little marshmallows so they have these like little marshmallows that are like Christmas tree shaped and I don't know yet. Okay, so they have Christmas trees, candy canes, and snowmen. So I thought that was cute. And then they had just like a bunch of different like random candy and stuff. I thought, so these are some of my favorite ones. It's Rudolph and a Christmas tree and then it's like knitted and you can actually see like the knit, like you can really see it in the... Rudolph, but I thought that was really cute, super unique. Couldn't beat it for a dollar. And then some squish balls. I don't know what the heck this is. They like slime, and I don't. So I figured that would be the closest thing to slime without them actually damaging my floors, my carpet. And then, oh, okay. So just some gummies. Rudolph and Frosty gummies. I thought that was cute. Oh, I thought these were cute too. So we got a rendition of Rudolph and Frosty. I don't think that's actually them. Some knockoff version. And so I got some lifesavers. But I didn't realize that the flavors were cherry, apple, and peppermint. And I'm not really sure about that combination, but it's Christmas color and kids eat anything, so they're going in the stocking. I also got them some little elves. I thought it was cute that it was a boy and a girl, and they actually have some tint to their skin color. So I thought that was cute. And then I got my puppy some stuff. I heard a few squeak toys, some treats. Oh, and they have some really cute cookies there for dogs. And I got her some some sprinkle heart shaped cookies. I thought those were cute. Okay, so that was pretty much it that I got from Dollar Tree for the for the kids. Um, they did get like some candy and stuff like that, like some random little treats and everything. And I got them some Play-Doh. I forgot to show some Play-Doh. Play-Doh is another one I don't really like, but I'd rather have Play-Doh than slime. <laughs> I know she was going to do it. Anyway, I'm just going to ignore her. And then I got this. She's so rude. Like, I'm not even here recording. 
Cash. Hush. Like I said, I was going to get a couple of things for my mom to put in her stocking. So I just got her like one of these paper face masks, like the vitamin C one to brighten up um, your skin. And then I got her some mascara because why not? And some, um, for, you know, polish and a protein treatment for her hair. It's like a hair mask. And then I got myself the same ones too. So like, I don't know, maybe we'll do like a little, a cute little like girls night thing when we go over there to stay the night. And then I also got this little bottle of bubbly, but it's really just bubble bath. And it's champagne wishes. Now we know that that's not the real thing. So... And for the people who don't know what I'm talking about, Champagne Wishes is a scent at Bath & Body Works. So that's what I'm saying. This is not the real thing. But hopefully it smells something similar to that because I actually like the Champagne Wishes at Bath & Body Works. Oh yeah, I forgot. And Cash has a biscuit too. I got her peanut butter flavor biscuit. <laughs> okay. And then I also got us some fizzing bath salts. So, I thought that was just like, I don't know, I think I might have bought too much stuff. And I didn't really get anything for my husband because I couldn't really find anything. This was pretty much it for my little haul from the store, from Dollar Tree and Walmart. And then, um going to go ahead and get these gifts wrapped. I already brought all my wrapping paper and all my boxes and stuff down here. So I'm going to get this stuff wrapped up and then I'll probably just like take my kids out to eat or something like that. I don't know. Like even though um, like even though Nani it seems like she's doing better. Like I don't know. My spirit is down. So I don't even really feel like too into um like vlogging anymore so i'm probably just gonna go ahead and end this vlog here and then i will pick up maybe next yeah for sure next week i'll pick up again um and by then i should be in better spirits but i'm just gonna ask like all of the people that are watching this video to just say a prayer for um her teacher's family and um just ask for God to give them peace and understanding in a time like this, especially right before Christmas. So, anyway, thanks guys for watching and I'll see y'all next week.